Can I talk to you for a minute? What's the harm in a little talk? Hey, good looking. I like your hair. Hey, mister. Got a cigarette for me? Hey, mister. Do you speak French? Come here, I want to talk to you. Hey, fella. You want to dance? A little dance won't hurt you. What's the harm in talking? Can't hurt you, can it? Ooh, you're so tall. Must be six foot four. Let's have a little fun. The minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. Good looking, so refined. Say, wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point.
that girl is built for everything but conversation. Yeah, he probably does all the talking. And into those smooth lines like, Baby, last night I dreamt you and I were in a cozy little cottage covered with clinging vines. There we were, clinging more than the vines. And he converts the convertible sofa and really goes to work. Quote, Do you have any idea how I earn that money? Do you, huh? 
You're a dance hall hostess. I'm a dance hall hostess. I work in a dance hall. I dance with strange men and talk to them and drink with them. That's right. How did you know? I've known it for a week now. I was riding a bus one night, saw you, jumped off, and before I could catch you, I saw you go to this dance hall. I went in and stood in the corner. You were sitting in a booth with some man. You were laughing and giggling. I didn't stay very long, an hour or so. <laughs> that night, when I went home, I tried very, very hard to hate you, Charity. But I couldn't do it. I just couldn't hate you. Maybe we'll have better luck tonight. Do you know what other business some of the girls are in? I'm not interested. Don't you want to ask me if I am too? It's not important. Not important? Well, it is to me, Oscar. I'm in love with you. And I'm not going to waste being in love with some jerk who isn't in interested enough to find out if I really am what I'm hinting I might be. Don't look at me. Charity, I don't care what you are or what you did. All I know is I want to marry you. That's not a one thing at a time, huh? I'm not in any other business. All I sell is my time. But just to set the record straight, I'm not a political virgin. Oh. Oh. Charity! Charity, please don't cry. I believe you. I know you believe me. I'm crying about that other part. What other part? The marrying part. I didn't hear you the first time. Marry me! Oh, Oscar, you're not making fun of me, are you? Because asking a girl to marry you is one of her most sensitive areas, and you shouldn't say it unless you really mean it. Because you can seriously hurt a person kidding around like that. And I'll tell you the truth, Oscar, I don't think I can handle another injury of that nature. Charity, for the first time, I'm happy inside. Really happy. And it's all because of you. Oh, Oscar. Don't look at me. <laughs> I can get pretty emotional too, you know. Give me your hand. You know what we're gonna do, Charity? We're gonna get out of this city. Oh, I'd like that. Get a little place in the country. I'd like that. We don't need much money. I could get a little gas station. I've always loved cars. You'd like that. Maybe get a mobile gas franchise with the big red and white sign. I'd like that. What really counts is that we'll be together. That's what really counts. Forget your past. Forget what you did before. I forgot it. It's forgotten. Some men can never do that, Charity. But not me. Not you. I promise I'll never mention it again as long as I live. I'd like that. Because I need you, Charity. I need you, and I love you. There's this little place on Route 66 in Passaic. 